Today's art demo is going to be this round resin seascape. Notice anything different in the studio? Echo, echo, echo. Everything is gone. That's right, some big changes are coming for Tam's Creative Corner, so stay tuned till the end and I'll give you a sneak peek of what is next. In the meantime, I've created this resin seascape called White Sands and Surf, made with real sand and shells, so let's get started. Today I'm working on a round cradle board and I have prepped it with water-based acrylic wood sealer and now I'm just using some acrylic paints to lay down a base coat and kind of play with the design of my seascape before I begin pouring resin. You'll see me using a combination of deco art and Arteza metallic paints. I love these paints for painting my base coats. They're really easy to blend and the colors are gorgeous. You could even just paint your board and do a clear coat of resin and have a beautiful seascape. But I'm doing this more as a rough draft and to give me an idea of how I want to pour my resin. Now that my paint is dry, I make sure that my board is level and I begin mixing up some resin. And in this first few layers, I'm going to use Art Resin brand and it's a one to one ratio. You simply pour equal amounts of resin and hardener and then you combine those really well until they're completely blended. And then you can begin mixing in pigments and pouring to your heart's content. I use this glitter in another seascape to kind of create that under the water sparkle effect and it turned out great. So I thought I'd give it a go on this seascape as well. So this will be my first layer of resin and if you haven't seen that video it's pretty popular and I'll link that one above for you. You can see I add a whole lot of glitter and then I just spread it out on my board to create that first layer. I let it cure before moving on. And that's it for the first step. I cover it up and the next day I'm ready to continue working with it. So I'm mixing up a second batch of art resin and again equal parts using my TCP measuring cups this time because I'm mixing in a little bit more. And then I'm going to divide it into smaller cups so that I can mix in my pigments. And the first thing I do is put down a clear layer of resin just to help my other pigmented resin move better over the surface.
these alcohol wipes are hard to come by these days during the pandemic but they work great for wiping off your hands in between working with your resin so i'm using all counterculture diy pigments and they're amazing for my seascapes you can make them as opaque or translucent as you want and you'll see me working these colors in and just starting to blend my seascape remember i want to leave a bit of the sparkling under the surface so i'm making sure that they stay somewhat translucent My favorite way of working the resin is just to get in there and use my hands. Now I'm using my little culinary torch just to pop out some of the bubbles that occur when you're working with resin before moving on. And now I'm laying down some clear resin and this is where I'm going to start my first set of waves. This is white epoxy pigment by Armor Art and it makes some fantastic waves so it's one of my go-to favorites. And now I'm using my heat gun to move the white pigment through the clear resin and create some of those waves. I've had questions about can I use a hair dryer to create the same effect and from my experience my hair dryer didn't get hot enough to create the lacing and cell work we're going for so I would try and invest in a heat gun. This is my favorite and it was very inexpensive on Amazon. And I'll be sure to link everything below or you can check out my Amazon shop where I've listed a lot of my favorite supplies there. And because the torch is more intense heat source, I will go back in and just try to create a little more cell and lacing with that. And then I'm going to just continue to add in some of my extra pigments, giving it a little more depth before covering it up and letting it cure and moving on to my next layer. The next day I mix up another batch of art resin and I'm ready to begin layer number three. I wasn't loving the beach area and I remembered I had this white sand so I thought I'm going to create a white sand beach this time and I really liked the way it turned out. So I just portioned out some resin and put my sand right into the resin, mixed it up and began putting it down in my beach area. And I want the beach to have that real sand look to it. So I top it off with a lot of just loose sand 
and I let it stay there until the next day when it's cured and then I pour off what's still loose and it left a really great texture that you'll see in a minute. And now I'm going to use up some more of my resin and mix in some more pigment and go ahead and put another layer over the ocean part of my painting. If you've seen any of my other YouTube videos and seascapes, you know that I love to build layer upon layer. It just gives it a lot of depth and interest and really creates an effect where you're looking down through the water. And I just love that. Using my torch, I go ahead and give it a once over to pop any remaining bubbles. And then I decided to add in some real seashells that I had gathered on some of our journeys. Now I let it cure and the next day I'm ready to shake off the excess sand and begin building my last layer and my last set of waves on this piece. And I'm going to switch up my resin and use counterculture DIY resin for this last layer because it's a thicker resin and I like the way it creates the more three-dimensional waves. And of course the first thing I do is put down a clear layer to ensure that I retain some of the work I've done underneath before adding in my pigments and waves. And the same process as before we're mixing white pigment into resin and then applying it into the clear resin to create the waves
Now that the resin is cure, I'm ready to clean up the back and remove those strips. And it's pretty easy. I always tape off the back of my boards and then when it's done I heat it up with my heat gun and it peels right off taking all those drips with it. And here is the finished piece. I just love that sparkle under the sea look and I really like the way the waves and the white laced up creating that effect. So I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. And now let's get to the big news and the changes that are going to happen to Tam's Creative Corner. So now for the big reveal, the sneak peek, and the changes that are coming to Tam's Creative Corner. We're going mobile, folks. We're hitting the road. If you'd like to see where we end up and what we're up to on our next adventure in creativity and inspiration, we'd love to have you follow along. I've got to get out of the studio. The echoing is driving me nuts and we've got a lot of packing to do. See you next time.